What about your work in such circumstances? How are you doing, especially you, because the you know the the name of your of your group is Open Program. It's and now it's it's locked. So what about the Open Program in these times? That's your work very, is based on the on the strict contact with people, with that's meetings. Very, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. It is a it is something that we have like everyone missed a lot. It's almost. I, I feel it's almost of the order of uh, sensory deprivation, you know? Uh -huh. That you feel that something is missing. And even when you meet someone and you need to keep a mask, after some time of com the conversation, you start to miss something. Something is missing. The mimic of the face, all these little details. Um, so there, there has been that aspect of this lack of direct contact. On the other hand, you know that almost everyone in our groups at the work center, they cohabit, they yeah. share apartments in small groups. So we, we kept rehearsing in small groups in the apartments. But the point is, rehearse for what? Yeah. Rehearse for what? So I read with great interest your text with your questions related to this text by Grotowski. That speaks, it's, it's very interesting how he speaks of this possibility of a contact, of a, of a bond that is being yeah. created. <clears throat> but I think that for for us at the open program, I think there are two um, aspects that are important. And one is the aspect of contact and collaboration. And the other aspect is the aspect of uh, um, study. Uh -huh. Meaning that I think that <clears throat> nowadays, almost all in the theatrical community, we would agree that in our times, theater, yes, it's a means of expression, of artistic creation, but it is also a perfect field for study, for exploration of the study of certain subjects. And this time of um, Magic Mountain has been, from this point of view, an interesting question. <clears throat> What do we study, how, and in which way we can do this uh, together, even if we are in different places. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the, um, after 2017, there started this amazing collaboration between thousands of physicists, astrophysicists, astronomers, when they, in order to observe the collisions of neutron stars. So through technology, modern communication technology, they were able to coordinate their efforts on a planetary scale in order to observe, to, to find, they observe and observe this collisions of stars which were never observed observed before and i feel that something like this can be in our in our domain interesting because there is another aspect that grotowski points out as a very specific to theater which is the literality of action Action is literal, literal. no? Mm -hmm. And it's true that even if in theater there is all this aspect of fiction, representation, imagination, we are where we are. Like now, I am in front of a computer looking at the, pro at the image of Darek. But the, the literality of this fact is that I am in my room in front of a computer, as yeah. you. Yeah. in two different circumstances. So 
mm, in this sense, how can there be any kind of theater? But if we take theater or artistic research as a, a field of study of the functioning of the human being in action in any moment, then probably we can coordinate efforts and share mm -hmm. findings. And so this is what we have been doing. We have been rehearsing on many different things. We started even uh, uh, like a, a process towards a completely different new work. Um, before the lockdown, we were working a lot on these meetings yeah. and encounters with large numbers of people. And uh, the, the open choirs where we sing together with people. And they work, these meetings, they work very well. Yeah. yeah. But already before COVID, we had the sense that, okay, they work very well. There is something that appears, it's nice. So probably it means that we should do something else. And uh, so we started a new approach, a new work, as a pretext for a certain investigation, and then COVID arrived. So mm -hmm. we continued created, creating materials. And then the question again is, okay, so much effort from our side, so many <clears throat> hours of work, but for what? For a performance. Mm -hmm. Why do I do a performance? Yes. And this is the Why? question because, because from certain point of view, you can say that all that's important or crucial to your work can be obtained without a witness. For a long time, you work together with Grutowski, with Thomas Richards, with other people, you work on something very important without any witnesses. So the, for, for me, there is a question. In, what, in which point and for what you find the witness to be so important that even against all lockdowns and all pandemic uh, restrictions, you will start to look for a witness, for someone. Because when I'm thinking about Grotowski, uh, there are two images. One is an image of someone who looks for people and who is really hungry to, to get to a real contact with, with another human being. But on the other hand, there is this image of Grotowski sitting uh, in the corner of a room, just watching and being the master of, uh, of observation, of being the master of witnessing action. So maybe between these two images, we can find a way to deal also with the situation of pandemic, because all all experts are saying so that are saying that uh, don't hope to say goodbye to the pandemic uh, in a very short time; it will stay with us. So if it stays stays with us, uh, maybe this is the time to to think in a deeper way about uh, performance. Uh, and uh, the work on the on the uh, sub structure, maybe not structure, but the, the core of the action. Absolutely, I think you your intuition is really right, and uh, I I don't really see a contradiction. I mean, I see that for Grotowski, for his the period in his life, the circumstances of his life, he. Uh, took this aspect, the fact that you say there is a witness, a living witness that's present in the same place. Um, he, he took this fact and, and uh, somehow arrived to, um, to its uh, basic constituent. So there is Grotowski in a corner watching. So I am working and he is watching. And this relationship can, I, th I, I, for, I think for me was very, very important, mm -hmm. but it also sheds light on, the, on another fact, which is that when you are 
working with someone, another actor or a colleague, you are working on the same scene, you are working on the same material, you are both active, but your partner is also a witness. It's also the representative of the human species. Somehow what we look for in theater, in our best moments, it's to solve the problem of alienation mm -hmm. from ourselves, from another person. Now this problem of alienation in this period becomes very serious because of many reasons, because of the divisiveness of society. For me, the question of what to do now and what is the relationship with the people around us, towards whom, by the way, we are in debt because we receive also public funding. Uh, for me, this question is very important. Why do I do a performance? Why do my colleagues want to do a performance? So, I have a strong impression that what is important now is uh, um, an effort to utilize the time we have, I repeat, to study. But not to study directly. You know, like, we study in order to do an exam. Yeah. We study in order to get a degree. We study to acquire later some competencies. But, but what if the act of study, as in certain moments of our life, like in, uh, often in connection with good teachers, for example, when we were teenagers with a special teacher, how can the act of study become itself a moment of um, quality between people? Not for a result after. The, the study takes place now and its result is now. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, with our group, what we had started to do since before the lockdown were meetings that were not based on singing, but on conversing, on, mm -hmm. on talking, on different topics. So also this is a theatrical skill. How do you talk in, uh, in, uh, in public or in a small group? How, how you can listen to someone else talking. The art of listening is also an important part of this. How do you talk? When does the voice contain or when is the voice constituted by a vibration of sincerity? when the presence of the person who is talking in a moment becomes pregnant of meaning, how is our capacity to listen, as you say, change? Because also the listening sometimes has the sound of truth, the vibration of mm -hmm. truth, and sometimes it doesn't. So let's say that uh, apart from many other works that are relate also, related also to formally theatrical uh, pieces, we are now working on this. And how can this research on the thinking and feeling presence in a group, um, how can it evolved here in Pontedera, in Toscany, uh, in, uh, with, with people who are very, very young. So we see now in Italy, but we see it everywhere in Europe, that public, public service is very important for the survival of humanity as we, we for, of civilization as we know it. So now we speak of essential workers. Mm -hmm. Among these essential workers, there are no actors usually. But I see that all public services are essential. 
for example, education. And uh, I feel that as artists, our group, I feel that we have some obligation to support public service. Mm -hmm. So we will, uh, as soon as we come back from this short break, we will start working with schools, mm -hmm. as it is possible with COVID. And this it's work with younger people will not be based only on you know, creating a little performance with students of the school. No, it's an activity, it's a, an effort that we are doing in collaboration with many friends all over the world um, who are not in, directly involved in theater, mm -hmm. but who are um, experts in other fields like psychoanalysis or philosophy or genetics of or history we want to create a field for these young people where to approach topics that are interesting in the humanities and in sciences through theater and when i say through theater i don't mean simply through the creation for example of scenes no but these basic elements, very ancient, like rhetorics, the oratorial capacity, the, the contact with the environment where you are, the relation between reacting to your environment and something you have planned before, the structure, all these for me are deeply theatrical elements. Mm -hmm. And for me, this is a very interesting field of um, action now. And then, yes, you know, we work also on theater. But I think that you are right in the sense that now we may be able to question ourselves more lucidly about what are we doing locally. Mm -hmm. We are always local somehow. Yeah. We are always in some locus. So but we live a lot in the imagination mm -hmm. but now we can ask ourselves okay what am i contributing to where i live especially now that travel restrictions are in place so we i can relate i can ask myself what am i doing locally for the community in which i live and then how can i relate with people of another community, the theatrical community, which has an international nature in, mm -hmm. in our case, in relation to what each of us is doing locally. What do we face as challenges? What do we discover as uh, uh, new possibilities? It is a little bit like with rehearsals, Darek. In fact, the objective of rehearsals, apart from discovering what is creating, is to prepare the actors and also poor director to that which is uh, um, unpredictable. Mm -hmm. So anything can happen during the performance. The actor is prepared for the unpredictable. Mm -hmm. So now everything is unpredictable. And that's why theater is so important. That's my strong belief that uh, theater, especially now, is an art to be prepared for unpredictable because of imp improvisation and a lot of uh, other techniques that were developed in the 20th century theater. And now, because no one knows what, what, what will happen, uh, the theater people are the ones who are prepared somehow. Yes, it's, it's very true. It can be needed. It can be something needed. But I have the feeling that we must make it needed. Yes. Yes, because when you spoke about these essential workers, I think that the artists are the essential workers, or rather that they should become and uh, say to the people that they are essential workers in the times of unpredictable future. And yes, if I do theater online, it's not theater, it's theater online. 
So it's, but on the other hand, it is a very intense time and very interesting. And I am convinced that we need to catch mm -hmm. the opportunity because opportunities don't present themselves so often. And the biggest mistake I think that we could make, I think, huh, could be to try to do the same things that we were mm -hmm. doing before yeah. with some little changes, adjusting to the situation. No. Let's, let's take advantage. Let's renew what we do, not change a little. If we want to go back to something or if we want to keep something, then I would say, let's go back to why we started. Why did you start to do what you are doing? Why did I start? 